Hello, hello, hello. It's now May 29, and problem 36 has been online for two days. And the good news is that I have now approximately 20 correct answers. And when I say correct answers, that always means that the answer is correct for both 5 Earth radii and for 50 Earth radii distance. But I now have uh, about 250 <laughs> wrong answers. I'd like to add a few words. The shortest time that someone sent to me was that it takes 10 to the minus 19 seconds for the object to free fall from 5 Earth radii back to Earth. So that's roughly 30,000 kilometers. If that were true, the average speed would be 18 orders of magnitude higher than the speed of light. So it doesn't have the right smell, does it? The highest, the largest time that was sent to me by someone was 10 to the plus 19 seconds. Well, that is 100 times longer than the age of the universe. It doesn't have the right smell either. So, if this helps you, this is, a, this is my first hint, the time is shorter than 10 to the 19 seconds, and it is longer than 10 to the minus 19 seconds. And that is true for both answer 1 and for answer 2. Many of you have an answer of a few seconds. 5 seconds, 10 seconds, some even less than 1 second. Well, go to the first floor and drop an object to the ground. That very roughly takes one second, and you probably know that from your own experience. If that takes one second over a distance of less than five meters, it's unlikely that it would take only a few seconds if the distance is 30,000 kilometers. So my second hint is it's more than a few seconds. Two important hints, right? Many of you, I would say quite a few of you, have the correct answer for the 50 Earth radii distance, but not for the 5 Earth radii distance. The reason for that, I think, is clear. They found on the web an equation which only holds if R is much, much, much larger than R0. And 50 Earth radii is much larger than R0. But it doesn't hold if R is 5 Earth radii. So they get the answer to question 1 wrong. Of course, the majority, I must say, have both answers wrong. So if you find an equation on the web, do not blindly use it until you have a full understanding of its limitations. Physics, as I often say, is not about equations. Physics is about concepts. By all means use the web, that's perfectly fine. 
find your way that through the problem and when you give me your answers you can say I search the web and I think I have the right answers now. Okay, I will give you at least four more days to answer problem 36. It is not an easy problem, not so much because of the physics, although many of you have the physics completely wrong, but that's not the hardest part, it's the math. That is the problem. Have a nice day. Take care. And yeah, let's try to still be friends.